night. I'm just fed up with the way they ruin this land, basically. They just can't be allowed to do it anymore. If you, if you do direct action against the contractors and the security guards, effectively you're delaying them, and delay means costs. Sometimes they have contractual obligations to meet, and every time they are delayed, you're, putting, you're adding the pounds onto their contract. Carry through you know, everything that you believe in, and um, we, people have been really inspired by what we've done. West Hall surrounded the, the green and the treehouse with a, an eight foot fence and wouldn't allow anyone into the treehouse. We suddenly realised the nature of what they were doing. They were taking away something that really belonged to everyone. And it, it was kind of quite a really powerful kind of moment of realisation. And everyone looked at these fences and just thought, God, they've just got to go. And so we just suddenly had, very spontaneously, 150 people. Uh, started pushing down these fences, which was no mean task. I mean, these were eight-foot fences dug about three feet into the ground. This, it wasn't a kind of a group of angry anarchists. It was just a, it was a, an alliance of environmentalists and a huge majority of local, local people. I have an absolute deep commitment to non-violence. You cannot fight violence with violence. Um, what we are against um, is violence towards the planet. Um, I see environmental destruction as the ultimate form of violence against the planet and against human rights all around the world. Um, if you're opposed to it, you certainly don't fight using the same ma methods. A tree storms, wars, bombs. 300 years, the tree still stands. A road, a crane, a matter of hours, the tree stands no more. The tree has fallen, humiliated, rotten, eventually forgotten. Cars, noise, pollution, yet another step towards extinction. What's it matter anyway? What's a tree compared to millions of pounds? It's done with now, nothing to worry about. It's all over until the next time a tree gets in the way of progress. All that is left is a single question. At which tree do we stop? A lot of hard work has gone into this, uh, into barricading this room over the past week and a half. This wall here has been um, barricaded and, fit, and the cavity filled with concrete and the same with that wall there. And uh, the windows have been filled with concrete and the ceiling has been um, heavily barricaded and uh, rafters have been put in place to um, uh, secure all the barricades. The people are coming round in this morning in the morning with slow jammers. So I'm told, it's like official. I haven't had any correspondence with them. The only thing I can do to remain in my own home is to barricade my own home. This is a handcuff. This is what you have to do to try and stay in your house when they're coming in here to take you out. One of us puts a hand in this side, one in the other side, click a small handcuff in the middle so as our hands are joined. That's the only way as a last resort that we can stay in here. Oh, 
right, come on. Good boy. Come again. People on the roost number 10 and number 12, and they've got two cherry pickers working on taking them off, but it's a very, very slow business.